Hello everyone, my name is Jamie McQuaid from Magnet Forensics and uh, today we're going to do a quick video on doing uh, recovery acquisition with uh, a Samsung device. Um, in front of me I've got a Samsung S5 Active. Um, works very similar to the regular S5 but it's the Active model. It's, uh, it's got some rubber siding on it uh, which protects it I guess a bit more. Um, but generally it's, uh, it's a common uh, device so I'll go through a, a recovery acquisition for it. So. Uh, assuming you get this device in an investigation, you have a few options to do it. Um, we're going to do the recovery method today, but uh, you've got a few other options as well if you wanted to. So uh, I'm going to just do some case information here, and I'm going to, so S5 active, and I'm going to name my image, my acquired evidence as well for the S5 active. Uh, so we're good there, we'll leave everything else the same. I'm going to choose evidence sources. And I'm going to choose mobile and go Android and acquire evidence. So from here, you have an option. You could do an ADB method or a recovery method. We're going to do the recovery method, but I'll mention the ADB one anyway. Uh, ADB one works quite well. It should work for almost any uh, iOS or Android device out there. Um, basically, what it'll do is um, it will connect. You do need to have the phone unlocked and in USB debugging mode uh, in order for the ADB method to work you do not require that for the recovery method. But there is a little bit higher risk using the recovery method over the ADB method. So sometimes I recommend people, if you have the option and you do have the phone unlocked, do the ADB method first and then come back and do a recovery method if, uh, if that, also, if that uh, doesn't get you what you need. Um, so we're gonna jump right to the recovery one in this video and I'm gonna go recovery. And from here you get to choose the recovery image. Um, so like I said, you need to choose the specific model uh, of the device that you have here. Um, if you, this is the first time you're doing any recovery images, you need to actually download those recovery images first. So you click download now, it takes you to a site, it allows you to recover those uh, or download those images and install them with, uh, with Axiom and you get this, uh, this list of devices that I have here. Um, the reason being we don't ship it with Axiom because it's a pretty big list, it's uh, several gigs in size. Um, so you can download that separately and install it, it takes a few minutes. Um, once you've got it all set up like I do here, you can uh, search for your device. Uh, so like I said, this is an S5 Active. The model number is SMG870W. So I'm gonna do G870. And we can see there's two G870s, uh, the F and the W. Like I said, this is the W model. Make sure you get the exact model correct here because this is really important. And I'm gonna get, have that selected and hit next. Here you'll get a warning, uh, worth mentioning, uh, there is a, a little bit of risk here involved if you're not doing, uh, following the correct steps and uh, following uh, instructions properly. Um, for one, like I said, make sure you have the exact model number that you're looking at. If not, you could be flashing the wrong recovery image, break the phone or destroy data. Um, so what we've got here is you also want to make sure that the phone does not have a locked bootloader because that will not work or that uh, FRP, factory reset pr uh, protection is off. Um, you want to make sure of this on the device before going any further because that is really important. Um, otherwise, you're not going to get any further with this and it's going to uh, potentially ruin your evidence. So make sure you check for that. I've already checked for this device. I know it's, uh, it's got an unlocked bootloader. It's an unlocked device. Uh, that doesn't always mean a lot of uh, uh, devices with AT&T and Verizon, especially Samsung devices, have locked bootloaders by, uh, from the, the carrier. Um, so you might not get anywhere with those uh, right off the bat. So, so be careful of that and, uh, and, and verify and check. Um, so from here, I'm going to choose start, and we've got a little bit of a progress uh, um, instructions to follow here. So make sure there are no devices in download mode connected to the computer. So I've got the phone disconnected from the computer, and uh, I can just hit next. Now it's telling me to put the device in download mode. Um, to do that, you power off the phone if it's already on or if it's already off, that's good. Uh, and then press and hold the volume down, home, and power buttons all at the same time. That will put you into download mode. So I'm going to do that right now. Press and hold. And now it's putting me into download mode. It gives me a warning, say, hey, it's, there's a risk here. I hit the volume up to continue. It now puts me into download mode or Odin mode, which is uh, what you can see here. Uh, you get the, the binary here, the uh, uh, Knox warranty and all of that other stuff is, uh, is set there, uh, ready to go. So I can connect the device to my computer. It's connecting. And so we'll hopefully come up here in just a second. Perfect, now it's gonna install a download mode driver. Good, it's gonna flash the recovery uh, image. And so you should see a recovery bar go across the screen on the actual phone. 
and which is going through just fine, good. Now it's telling me we put it in recovery mode. So the download mode installs the recovery image. Now I want to put it in recovery mode to boot to the recovery image. So instead of volume down home and power, you need to use volume up home and power. So I'm going to use volume up home and power. Press and hold that. It should put me into uh, recovery mode. Perfect, so it's going into recovery mode right now on the phone. So give it another second to catch up on the screen here just to read it. I can see it on the screen, it's recovery booting. Uh, so we can say in progress, progress, just about, there we go. So it's gonna install the driver, done, and everything's good to go. So it's in recovery mode now, everything's all set, and we're, uh, we're good to go, so I'm gonna hit next. And now we get the device set up here. We can see it's a Samsung, like I said, G870W. Uh, the OS is Android 601. And privileged access says yes. What that means is I have root access to this phone. Privileged access means it's no, it says no. It means I, uh, I don't have root access and I can, uh, uh, I'm limited to what I can see on it. Privileged access saying yes means I have full physical access or, or at least uh, uh, to the entire file system on the phone there. So we're gonna leave uh, the image type. We're gonna do a full image here. We don't need to do a quick, we can do a full. And uh, add, it doesn't need to root it or anything like that because it already has that privilege access. I can hit add to my case. It gets queued up and we're good to go. So I can go through all these settings if I want in terms of uh, acquisition and uh, processing options, the artifacts, all of that stuff is there. I'm just gonna skip right to the end. Um, we're gonna only focus on the acquisition bit here. Um, we can see it's ready to be imaged and I'm gonna hit analyze evidence. What it'll do is it'll go through and do a full uh, acquisition of, of the entire device here for me and uh, we should be good to go on the other side. It'll take a few minutes to go through but uh, everything should be fine now.